Texas, the Lone Star State, and the biggest in the contiguous US. We are Sorted Food, and the four of us are on a trip from the UK to find out if everything really is bigger in Texas. So oh this is it. Oh my God! So we're traveling to the state's biggest cities to explore the things that made the food scene in Texas massive. To help us scratch the surface, our production team, along with the help of Texan locals, have lined up a number of challenges to help us immerse ourselves in this truly epic state. Dallas, Texas. And we have just 24 hours to explore this huge city and find out for ourselves through a series of challenges just what it has to offer. We'll also be making our way to the other side of this huge metropolitan area to visit the contrasting city of Fort Worth. So far in our epic Texas food challenge, the scores stand at four points for Ben and I and two for Barry and Jamie. Oh, 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 I got a text. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Is it from your mum? It is actually, but I've got another text okay. as well. Happy 4th of July. Welcome to Dallas. The city of living large and thinking big. Your <laughs> first challenge is inspired by the creativity that features throughout the city. Photograph. <laughs> Photograph the most creative, impressive dish you can find. And pit it against the other team on Instagram. The most likes wins the challenge. We've got this one! This yes! Is ours. OK, OK. We've got this. Let's swipe up the red shorts on. <laughs> is that, oh, is that why? They get more likes than I do. The red shorts mean <laughs> business. With it being the 4th of July, American Independence Day, Ben and I decided to celebrate early. And for this, we traveled across the city to the legendary Lockhart Smokehouse, a staple in Dallas for over 100 years. Thank you very much. How weighty is that? Oh, I'm so excited. Right, let's go eat it. But it wasn't just the brisket that we'd come for. Look at that. <laughs> Oh, fantastic. Mate. And the full Bloody Mary mix. That's a photo. That's, we can, oh, we can do that. Yeah. Yeah. It's massive. I saw them all being wrapped, and still it's a surprise when you open each bag. Oh the, my God. The smoke ring. We made the mistake of asking them how long they cook their brisket for. No such thing. They do it until it jiggles. And boy, does this jiggle. These are chunks of brisket. Did you see when it was being carved? It was oozing. Ooh, that is just the right level of spice. Oh, that is amazing. That is so savoury. Meanwhile, across town, Jamie and Barry were also experiencing their first meal of the day. So we've just been to the Pecan Lodge, an amazing Texas barbecue joint, and we had the hot mess. Think baked sweet potato, butter, Texas barbacoa, bacon, cheese, chipotle sour cream. This thing was... Outrageous. Sensational. You know what? I've never seen you more at home. Well, look, I'm sat there. I've got live country music <laughs> happening behind me. I'm eating amazing Texas barbecue. We're getting ready to watch fireworks. It just felt right. homely. It yeah. felt right. Having feasted out on Texas barbecue, Ben and I thought a sweet treat would be a crowd pleaser. So we went to find an Instagram worthy dessert. Texas style. Could I get the mango margarita? Chocolate dipped with coconut. Well played. Oh, bravo. The moment they pulled that waffle off of the paletta shaped cast iron and then just slid the creamy popsicle inside. Very satisfying. It was very satisfying and sensual. Did you get a stir And delicious. Sensual. Don't know the way on. Uh, let's get the post. Oh. Yeah. So this is a Ferrero Rocher flavoured paletta. Chocolate on the outside, chocolate and hazelnut on the inside in a waffle batter. So you get the hot, the cold, drizzled in dark chocolate, white chocolate, topped with nuts and it tastes exactly like that. <laughs> so Melissa's grandparents started a paleta store, paleteria, in Mexico City two generations ago, 1960s, and now she's doing this, but turning on its head, new flavors, new combinations, and putting them inside waffle. <laughs> Ha! <laughs> 
So we've come to milk and cream. Basically what they do is they take a glazed donut and then they get rid of the middle and in the middle they put ice cream and then different toppings. And we've asked the, uh, the girls here to basically make the craziest, most ridiculous thing they possibly can. One donut sounds good, but it's cut in half. Yeah. So you get two. So actually, we're going to get another one as well. So we'll have four. I think we'll stack, stack them up. Stack them? Like I'm yeah. going to have a donut ice cream lasagna. I think as a contender for a shot, this is up there with the best. How could we lose? At home, we, we put jam in donuts. We've been missing a trick. What a silly idea. What a wonderful silly idea. <laughs> With the frozen margarita machine being invented in Dallas over 50 years ago, the margarita mile is a phrase synonymous with Dallas and despite the name, it's actually a self-guided tour across the whole city, with many restaurant and bars participating. Plus, the boys needed to get an epic photo of Dallas's iconic drink. Right, so this place, right. they do a margarita flight, a massive selection. Should we fill our boots and get a photo? How many flavours? You can get four. It's a flight of four. Flight of four? A flight of fancy! It's going to be a good day. Don't jaywalk! Cheers. Cheers! Mm. OK. I've got guava. What have you got? Watermelon. Mm. Dangerously refreshing. Very easy to drink. Oh, wonderful. Usually when you get a flight, they're all smaller, aren't they? So you just have a little taste. These aren't smaller. These aren't smaller. This is like a transatlantic flight. What is that one? We'd be back to determine the winners of the Instagram challenge later, but first, it was time for another challenge. Yeah. Oh, my God! Oh, my. I've missed you! What is on your head? God bless you. It's a barbecue. Oh. I think I'm more risky than I am Ebbers at the moment. <laughs> oh, what's this? Yeah, this is the, yeah, we have... You know what? Have our margaritas. We've had, we've had quite a few. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Get ready for the break, Ooh, hello. please. <laughs> <laughs> Ready for some sushi? Should we go do it? Challenge time. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, right, game on. Yeah. So I'm going to teach you guys how to make some tamaki. Uh, tamaki in Japanese is a uh, hand roll. Uh, <laughs> and actually here, well, look, we're in Texas. Right? So when it comes to Texas, uh, you know, we like to do things and, and take our own little spin. So we're actually going to make a taco styled hand roll. All we're gonna do is take a little piece of nori, take our sushi rice, set it right in the, big, in the middle. I'm gonna take some salmon. I'm gonna add a little bit of our house spicy uh, aioli, sesame. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to keep building torch this just a little bit, bringing out those oils, you know, the oils that are in the salmon, lots of really fatty fish, right? I just want to kind of bring those to the top and add a nice, nice little torch to it. Fresh avocado, pickled burdock root, a little bit of garnish with some green onions. A chef friend of mine, he made this particular red chili one that was really, really great for rich kind of fatty fish like a salmon. There we have it, a little torched uh, salmon tamaki roll. Cheers, or as we Cheers. say in Spanish, provecho, enjoy. Provecho. provecho. There you go. Oh, that is fantastic. It tastes right. even better after you've swallowed it, doesn't it? <laughs> it's just like it's depth of flavor, it yeah. just keeps going. The problem is I really enjoyed it, but it's now giving me something to aim for that I'm not sure I can achieve. <laughs> oh, oh, that's very I'm concerned. All right, guys, so now you have seen a traditional Japanese tamaki. I am very excited for you to take our version of tamaki and texify it for us. Tres, dos, uno, listos. <laughs> you are going to be judged on flavor and your ability to take what is uh, Texas and Japanese ingredients and really make a Texas-style tamaki. So we've got some barbecue brisket. So thinking along the lines of some of the Japanese beef, like Wagyu, things like that. Since we've been in Dallas, we've had a lot a lot of margaritas. So we thought, why don't we Love go that. for a margarita salmon topped with salsa, guacamole, mm. uh, some nachos as well, and we got some chamoy just to complete wow. the margarita experience. Barbecue sauce going over the top with some pickled ginger. Got some pickled onion as well. I am a sucker for pickled onion. That's good to hear. Yep. That bodes well for me. We need a few dots of guacamole. Keep it Japanese inspired with the sesame going over the top. Finish with some tempura crumb. Oh, look at that. Frozen margarita. 
Service, please. All right. Time to pay the piper. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. All right, can I start with yours? Please. So it's a frozen margarita inspired roll. We have the lime juice, the tequila. Could smack you in the face and overpower the fish. I think you've uh, complimented the fish beautifully. Oh. So hopefully I can say the same about the brisket. Wow. Wow good or wow bad? <laughs> uh, I can honestly say I've never had a brisket tamaki. And I'm wondering why. I think we did a good job. I think we did do a good job. As much as I love brisket, ceviche will always have my heart. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for playing restaurant with me. It's unbelievable. Thank you. Oh, Thanks wonderful. For having us. Thank you guys. So, with a win to Barry and Jamie, it was time for us to take our seats for the big 4th of July Independence Day fireworks in Fair Park the park where crowds flock annually for the State Fair of Texas, and an opportunity for us to upload our most Instagrammable dishes. Right, are we naming them? Yeah. Burnt End and Bloody Mary. Burnt End Bloody Mary. What? Yeah, precisely. Yeah. Which one are you committing to? What the hell is that? Yeah. That's mad. Yeah, yeah, proud, man. Yeah. Happy? Proud, man. Happy? Happy? Yeah. OK, yeah, yes. go on, Annie. Fireworks here start at 9.30. Yep. Whoever's got the most votes at the end of the fireworks wins. Yeah, fair. Yeah? We've got this, Mike. We need it. After spending an action-packed day in the city, there was no better way to end our time in Dallas than to witness the awe-inspiring 4th of July firework display at Fair Park. Well, that wasn't bad, was it? No. Uh, but. I have some results from our little photograph test. With 56% of the vote, it's Mike and Ben. Bloody oh, Mary! Yes. Wow. Nailed it. <laughs> You've been <laughs> stewing on that one for a while, haven't you? I didn't know what I was going to say when they won. Yes. OK, but we got great. it. We got so, it. So, we end on one all. <sighs> yes. All to play for tomorrow, Fort Worth. OK, let's do it. Let's do it. There's some work to do. Time for more, oh, Sorry. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Are we going this way? Let's go this way. <laughs> Fort Worth, the modern West, where traditional Western culture meets the new. Again, we have just a single day to immerse ourselves in some of Fort Worth's Western traditions through a series of challenges. And with the scores standing at 1-1, well, it's fair to say we can't wait to get going. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this on this scale. Like in a film set. Got to Jamie's losing his mind. Uh, my name is Ed. I'm a drover here at the Fort Worth Herd. Uh, I've been here for about six years now. What we do is represent the time frame for the cattle drives between the mid-1800s, 1866 up to 1880. And that's what we do. We try to recreate that to keep our past alive because the cattle drives are a big part of Fort Worth history and Texas history. Did it come? I imagine they, they walk and in their heads they've got the Jamie theme tune. <laughs> Ball riding, mechanical. Longest team to collectively stay on wins. Do you want to make a point up for grabs? I want to make a oh, point yeah, up for grabs. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I've taken my glasses off and everything. Give me a three, two, one. Three, three two, two, one, go! Okay, we can move off. Here we go. Right, all in the hips. It's all in the hips. Loosey goosey. <laughs> oh, <is> that... <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, the, um, there comes the monkey. Here we come. Um. Oh, I hate this. No. <laughs> Come on, girl! Come on! Come on. Oh. Oh. Together, we got 53 seconds. Oh, damn. Whereas we got 58, 58, which you got the majority of. But yay! yay! That was one of the most stressful things I've ever done. We'd heard about a restaurant serving up some of Fort Worth's best ranch dishes, and we didn't want to miss out. 
Nestled within the luxurious Drover Hotel, just off the Cattle Drive, 97 West aims to bring true Texan classics to the table with an innovative modern twist. Cheers! Cheers, boys! Cheers, cheers, cheers. cheers. Sorry. Yeehaw! Chicken fried oysters. Yes. Let's get stuck in. Oh. <laughs> Little mango salsa on top. Oh, that's good. Sour creamy. Naughty. Mm. Oh, that, that is brilliant. That cumin crema on top yeah. is phenomenal. Oh, these have been fun. Green tomato. They've been marinated in sweet tea. And then a chow chow chutney. Ooh. Or a chow chow relish. Chow chow is like the local um, ranch dish. Oh, the that ranch. sauce is of incredible. The, tea. the ranch is amazing. I've never had a tomato like that before. What's Texas next? Stuff. What's next? One of their entrees, Texan antelope with goat cheese grits and a berry sauce. Have you wow. ever eaten antelope before? No, and it looks like you cook it red. And I like the look of that. It's very venison-y. It is good. It's in between venison and beef for me. We're eating like the bougiest cowboys that ever lived. I know. <laughs> it's glamping, isn't it? The cowboys. <laughs> this, is gla this is glamping. <laughs> it's glamping. It's glamping. Glamping. Having embraced the local attire, it was time to head to our next stop off. Martin House is a brewery best known for its wild flavours and bold tasting creations. With so many unique beers on tap, it was time for a flavour identification challenge. Welcome to Texas. Have you guys got to come by? Got a bunch of crazy stuff for you all to try. Hopefully you all haven't had anything like it before. Some are probably gonna be easy to pick out and some maybe a little bit harder, but beer number one. Right. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers, boys. Cheers. Oh my goodness. Are you getting one? Whoa, that's yeah. not what I was expecting. Three, two, two one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Pickle brine. The same pickle brine they use to make the pickles. We pump it straight in the tank, carb it up. It, I mean, send it, it tastes out. of nothing but yeah, pickles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's that was right. Yeah. Yeah. Round two. A little bit more complex, but still certified banger. I think we've got it. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It has to be. When you know, you know. Yeah, I think that's what we're Stop picking it up. <laughs> Three, two, one. Thank you. I like I like where you're going, but that's key lime pie. Yeah! Oh, oh, nice. well done. Key lime is yeah. a unique yeah. flavor. Yep. yep, round three. I'm having a great time. This is good. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, boys. No. Whoa, holy moly. Three, two, one, Bloody Mary. Jalapeno mustard is a very fun one, and that could be a Martin House beer one oh. day, but it's Bloody Mary. Yeah. 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 Bloody Mary. For goodness and that's sake. Exactly now it tastes like a Bloody Mary. Round four. Interesting. Cheers. Cheers. I ate one million, but I could not be any more confident. Three, two, so one. Surely not. For a cheeseburger. Back. It's actually a lot. It's more secret. It's just mustard. This is the this is the mustard. This is the Martin House mustard beer. It's, it's the pickle beer, but we put a lot of mustard, a bunch of mustard in there. Yeah. Nice. Well, I think we lost the point. But I had an amazing time. Cheers. 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 With the win going to Ben and I, it was now time for the teams to split up and Jamie and I were in store for some training for a surprise challenge later on. Hi, I'm Rhonda. Hello. I'm the Lance instructor here, and I'm gonna show y'all how to line dance today. Excellent! I know. The dance we're gonna learn is called American Apple Pie. You're gonna take your right foot and do a quarter turn right. Now you're gonna swing around and you're gonna do the same thing off to your left a quarter turn. Now point the left toe out. Now come together. Now let's come in for five and six and seven, eight. One and two and three, four, five and six and seven, eight. Yeah, right, the cool. Yeah. Five and six and seven, eight. Why are you standing on my foot? You. You went the wrong way. <laughs> your, six, your six should have been on the right. I don't even like whiskey, it's just, just a hat. <laughs> it sends you to the zone. 
Baz and I have absolutely lucked out because we've got to come to Lonesome Dove, which is one of the more premium restaurants in Fort Worth. And we couldn't quite squeeze in some of their epic steaks. So instead we've gone tapas style because what they do is excellent, excellent game. It's like a modern take on Texan cowboy classics with some unusual meats. Rabbit and rattlesnake charcuterie with pistachio and fig. This one is pork based, but then has blueberry and black garlic. Mm -hmm. And the one on the end combines wild boar with lamb, pine nuts and gouda. We've also got sprouts, we've got carrots, we've got wild boar ribs and hush puppy with lobster inside. One of the things with game meats is some people use them for novelty reasons, but what they've done here, they've paired it really clever with some ingredients to make some outrageously de delicious dishes. I stand by it and I love it. Wherever you go in the world, a local cheese and charcuterie mm. board is awesome. Well, in particular in Europe, mm -hmm. when you come here, this is completely different. I don't know how, but it feels like they've captured the essence of Texas, even through the vegetables, which, are, which I haven't had yet. Those carrots taste like their farmyard over there. <laughs> and those Brussels taste like all of Texas. I'm a very happy cowboy. It was time for us to put our new moves to the test in front of the entire venue. We're gonna go down and you're gonna perform that dance in front of our dancers. <laughs> you think you're ready? <laughs> we'll give it a go. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, I'll be right there beside you, kinda. <laughs> but it's all you. Right, here we go. I've got it happening. much fun. I hated it for the first minute <laughs> when I was hyper aware of just how many people were watching, but and then you, I grew into it. As long as you gave the crowd something to please them, I gave them some Beyonce hips you, you, and some drops you gave them and I, I gave them the cowboy hat and I now feel validated for my life choices. <laughs> We've had an incredible time in Dallas and Fort Worth, exploring both old and new traditions, and it'll be a visit we'll never forget. <laughs>